someone just came down. Yeah. We don't have a cook giving us call outs or anything like that, so. And she doesn't know that we can see her. There we go. And that's why you stay in the basement a little bit longer than I think most of you do. What are you gonna do? I told you. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna take some pictures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome the f back. Now I know, I know, this is a little bit of a step into left field for this channel. However, I cannot get enough of this game. I do not know why, but I am loving playing this game right now. And I feel like a lot of you are giving Bubba a little bit of a bad rap. Now the build we have here today consists of blood harvesting. Your damage is increased by 20% when carrying a full blood vial. This means that it's better to not have other perks that make your uh, blood vial larger because you want it to get full faster, right? So we keep those perks low. We keep our blood harvesting relatively low with only one point going into it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Our next perk is Victims who climb down wells will be highlighted for 17 seconds. Why, you ask? Because I'm a Bubba who likes to stay in the basement. Not always. I mean, not the entire match, but I like to stay in the, ba in the basement, I think, longer than most of you do. Um, and I'll show you why during our gameplay. And then for our last perk, it is our unique perk, Rough Cut. So hitting a victim with the chainsaw causes one damage, or one HP of extra damage per seven seconds. Honestly, you can change this one out um, for savagery if you want. For those people who like to stun you, you do 20% more damage for 40 seconds. I've had uh, Leland come stun me, not knowing that his teammate was nearby. I completely leave him alone, go to his teammate with 20% more damage and absolutely destroy them. And I'm like, that's on you, bud. But those are kind of the only two that I use. Um, you can use the one, this one, where it highlights the victim after you get stabbed. But most people don't help you anyway. So highlighting them is usually futile. Like, you can see where they go, but it's really not the biggest deal. You can see where they go usually anyways. So that being said as you can see we have our savagery completely maxed out you want that maxed out and then our endurance maxed out when it comes to the skill tree so here's how it looks we're pretty much right up the middle um the perks that we have are not uh, random i'm pretty sure they're not random uh, the most important one of the perks is going to be blood harvesting i believe this one is random but it's okay because it's right near the beginning so you can pretty much respect really fast uh, fast with that one rough cut is not random it's right there and then we have the endurance which is not random either it's right here always i'm pretty sure um that's not random so there's our skill tree and then the most important part some of you um have the tree different ways and that's fine but you may be wondering why when you do your attack out of bubba's like yelling dash or whatever he does um his uh you know i call it a dash attack but anyways when he does his like little dashing attack um some of you always stall and you're like why am i stalling why am i stalling i can't rev like some other people do it's because you don't you might have a point here in stalling resistance when really you needed an overheat resistance and then you need the second level of stalling resistance if you can do the first and the second but they don't stack so you're basically making the first one useless you might as well come over here and get um this one right for the 15 percent cooldown or you can come over here if you want, but I don't feel like this one, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like that one worked as well for me. So, you definitely, though, have to get the stalling resistance level 2. This is the most important, honestly. Like, this, this is cool. It doesn't matter that much. It's like, it saves you half a second, maybe, because you only have to press it twice. So, it's not that big of a deal. And then you have, like, the overheat reduction and stuff like that. None of these, I think, are a big deal. It's this one that I think is the biggest deal, and this is the one that you want to go for. So, that being said... Let's get into some gameplay and I'll show you how it works. All right. So the good thing about being Leatherface is you never really have to wait on a lobby because no one wants to be him right now. So there's pretty much always an open Leatherface slot. 50% more damage down wells is what I usually do. But oh, okay. Unless somebody else has it. Remember, guys, these perks don't stack. So if somebody else has the same perk as you, switch out. All right. So we know we don't have a Leland, which is good. Um, but that means we probably have an Anna, which means we have that little tanky ass um, on the map. Hopefully our cook knows to lock behind us. Let's see if we can tell him. Cook, make sure we lock behind. Um, cook, be sure to lock the door behind you, not in front of you. Okay, we can kind of hear them, I believe. All 
I don't know. I pressed Z, but I didn't see. Here we go. <clears throat> Where did she go? Is there a way under right there? Oh, there's a way through. Okay. Well, she's extremely hurt. So what we want to do is um, basically destroy all of these obstacles. Get all of the obstacles out of the way. There's only four doors. So you definitely want to make sure one of the first things you also do is patrol those doors. Um, and I think they're this way. I can't remember this map. Oh, we're in house. That's why. Another big thing, obviously, is learning the map. I still have a little bit of learning to do. And then getting rid of these barricades. I know Slaughterhouse a little bit more because I feel like I get that map more. I think they're looking into Family House because people are complaining about it a lot. But I don't know. It feels like the only map which you have a chance with when it comes to family. But maybe that's just me. Um, these are super... You set your trap. These are super important because you want to make sure that they can't get straight to the basement exit. All right, so we know they're upstairs. We got one right here. Fighting, fighting. Let's go. Okay, so we got one, it looks like. He's tired. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> and the reason I don't always... Um, do the chainsaw like this I definitely can but there's really no point because if you can't catch them regularly you're not gonna catch them I knew his ass was still here if you can't catch them regularly you're not gonna catch them like that and it makes you a lot less accurate and a lot more loud so w when I'm doing this I can sort of sneak up on people Obviously, they can hear the chainsaw and stuff like that, but it makes me a lot less loud. Because <clears throat> if someone just came down, yeah. We don't have a cook giving us callouts or anything like that, so. And she doesn't know that we can see her. There we go. And that's why you stay in the basement a little bit longer than I think most of you do. Because you have to make going down these wells a bad thing. You have to make that like a risky business or else they're just going to keep doing it. I got Sunny on me. I got Sunny on me. Okay, so we got Sunny upstairs. I think it's time for us to start heading upstairs as well. We got two kills down here. And we have Sunny right here. Go ahead, cook. There we go. Caused another death. And then we're gonna go check over here because this this is definitely if Cook didn't Okay, so we have his lock here. And we have his lock there. So we we want to check the other side. Let's see how many points they have. They only have 550 points. So I doubt that they're on the other side. They probably just barely got out of the uh, basement. We're at 82 with the last person. I think it's time to feed grandpa. Usually, again, I don't feed grandpa. I just want to have a full blood vial because it activates my perk. But at the end... When it's time to find a person, that's when it's time to feed Grandpa. That's when I start contributing to feeding him as well. Um, I know it says that it's still locked, but I don't trust it. There's another way over there, and I don't feel like 
uh, checking it. It looks like the battery is still on, so we prob we're probably good here. But I'm going to go ahead and destroy this. Again, destroy everything. It's extra points. I had a round where we got a 4K. I didn't get a single kill, but I got all these points. I had the most points because I was destroying everything. So the last one is, is it Anna or Julie? I always get Anna and Julie mixed up. I believe it's Anna. She's probably, if she's smart. Oh, God. Let me go. Uh, she's probably, if she's smart, going to go for a, a pressure valve play. That's what I would do as Anna because it's pretty hard. Well, you need kind of an Anna and a Leland, but it's, it's still hard to stop with just Anna. The gates are closed. Mm. Let's check the fuse box. Fuse box is closed. I know it seems like nothing is happening, but if you want to get the 4K, this is kind of the most tense time because you have no idea where they're at or what they're doing. And they have all this time and could be doing anything. This is why I try to collect blood, but um, what you don't want to do is take the at blood. The door, at the door, uh, car battery side. Oh shit, see? Oh, okay, she's over there. What you don't, I was saying, what you don't want to do is take his... There you go. We'd have had that in... Two seconds later, we'd have had that. But you don't want to take Cook's blood. Um, you want to, because he usually gets more blood from the pools than you do. So. See, we didn't do too bad. Not too bad at all. GG's. They were all Connie. That was a nightmare for a second there. Did y'all see that? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, do all the things. This has been Yata Gaming. We will see you in the next one. Other than that, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.